Jack Welch in the late 90s, he said, John, you have a, a good company. And I thought we had a great company. And so I, said, yeah, I knew Jack Welch. I said, Jack, we got a great company. He said, no, you don't. He said, you never will have a great company till you really had a major setback. And I said, oh, we did, 93, 97. He said, a life-threatening setback. 2001 came. P.E. ratio, your price of your stock times your earnings, went from 205 to 8. Uh, we had to lay off people, which I thought I'd never have to do in my life again because of the growth of the industry. People were questioning. We were the first ones into it, and I said it's a 100-year flood. It's not something unique to Cisco, and most people did not buy that. And yet, we came out of that dramatically stronger than we went in, and almost every one of our competitors' peers crashed and burned. But only after a year, when people were still second-guessing us, I got a call from Jack Welch, and he says, you now have a great company. I said, Jack, it doesn't feel like it. I'm getting the tar beat out of me. <laughs> but the point that I'm making, how you handle as a leader your setbacks, that's when your team and your peers watch you. That's when your leadership team watches you. I deliberately put my leadership team under stress because I'll learn more about them under stress in a short time period than I will over a much longer time when things go well.